ni ajua say imagine for an entire year kumekuwa na covid pandemic be ya life imepanda be ya mafuta iko very high mathiru kingia mwezi ngia watu wanne ama watano unaingia watu kadhaa yani kuna social distance kwa gari kwa kwa matatu kwa ndege kuna social distance kwa train kuna social distance lakini watu wanatupia mathiru kila siku lazima fanye social distance what else wakati lockdown ilianza last year watu waliumia sana then almost end of last year ikaliftwa kidogo watu wakafungua mabishara zao ma hoteli ma bar ma restaurants ma salon ma gyms kafunguliwa watu wanaanza kusema eh ni haja ni kubaya lakini at least niko na kazi then when Kenya ilifunguliwa tu hivyo wana siasa ndio wao all over this country political rallies wanafanya wanafanya BBI rallies kila pahali guess what happened covid ikapanda wewe as a citizen of this country ulikuwa na vaa mask unaosha mikono unalipa basi fee ya juu ndio msifinyane kwa gari wewe ulikuwa na follow every protocol gavel ili put in place but the president and his people never follow those protocols now the third wave is here the pandemic has come bigger and stronger and now people are getting infected but guess what for an entire year mutaikago was holding press conferences saying that we are ready for the pandemic we have 1500 su beds we are spending money the government spent over 250 billion shillings on this pandemic but there's nothing to show for it they are not ready for the third wave they don't have enough su beds hakuna vitanda kwa hospitali sasa hiyo kuna mtu mgonjwa edho ngoje mwenye kwa kitanda pone ama akufa ndio pate space no space guaranteed So what does Uhuru do? Instead of punishing the people who are supposed to ensure that the pandemic is co- the, they were ready for the pan- for the third wave, ama kwa nisho kwamba Kagwe and the Minister of Health people did their job, now the people who stole money from Kemsa have been investigated, arrested and jailed, Uhuru has decided that we all lose our jobs. How does he do that? By locking down this country again. Why did he lock us down? He's not locking the, this country down to ensure that those thieves are arrested. We are ready for the third wave again ama vitenda zitatafuta ziko hospitalini hapana uhuru is locking down because the rich are very concerned they're going to die remember this for every rich person in this country and the majority who are billionaires have stolen money from taxpayers mawochi wao ni shigeto ma house girl wao ni shigeto ma drivers wao ni shigeto ma drivers wao pandama 3 So wana sema tukienda kwa golf course tuweza pata awakadi mwenye tubebea golf clubs akona covid jo alipanda ma 3 ama alienda plus kuna covid case. So our dose wanagopa by the way infection ikienda kwa wananchi sai juu most of the time imekuwa napata kwa wale wenye si kila mtu wasio ningia kwa office office kubwa kubwa sa zingine. Wanaona kwamba if we get the infections going at this rate we shall die. But you know why they will die? Because they failed to prepare for this pandemic. The money for the pandemic was stolen. And when it was stolen and the government was broke, waliongeza bei ya mafuta, bei ya unga, bei ya kila kitu. Now we are suffering because the government is incompetent. But you know why we are suffering again? Because our leaders. Forget about the president who has failed co- completely and miserably failed this country. Beyond the president, we have governors, we have senators, we have members of county assemblies, and we have women rep and we have members of parliament tuko nao watu wote ambao tunapigia tuna, tuna, tuna kura na watufanyia kazi hao watu wote wamenyamaza shh wote aonge mambo ya pandemic aonge mambo ya lockdown wamenyamaza now as we suffer as kenyans and we go through this pandemic we shall come out stronger but i hope and pray please that we shall never forget what this government has made us feel and go through this government doesn't care about us hawajali maskini Venye uhuru alisema me lockdown inchi watu walifutwa kazi kwa mahoteli kwa mashule kwa majim kwa masalon kwa tourist industry kwa magari people lost their jobs because the government failed to do their job tunalipoa say na kazi yao ni si kufanya kazi ni kulewa tu na kufanya political rallies so let me tell you people we are alone This attempt to come together. I know normally si wa Kenya tusema ngao oh, kabila yangu kabila yangu. Hapa kuna kabila bro. Hapa kuna kabila sister. Tuko peke yetu. Saa hii wewe na kabila yako kama wewe ni msapere, uweze na kwa boku sema mimi ni mkikuni nipatie ni pesa. 
kama ni mjaka uweze nusema matri shikisha bei mimi ni mjaluo Raila kwa na handshake kama ni mkale uweze na western kule bure utalipishwa the point is we are on our own hapa kuna mambo ya tribe unity let our poverty and our problems bring us together if you are suffering as a kenyan if you are suffering right now ask yourself the leader that you could to vote for ako wapi mbona ongele hii maneno hata kabla ya lockdown hii mambo ya mafuta kuna kiongozi wote aliongelea mambo ya mafuta people we are suffering mambo ni mabaya and you are na own right now ukisema magazeti wanasema how this lockdown is affecting bbi we don't care about bbi we care about our stomachs what are you going to eat we care about our kids about our schools watu wanaenda shule wapi ama shule zitafunguliwa hizo ni shida zetu bbi sio shida yetu wase so naomba tu wherever you are in this country jifikirie let us come together because these leaders are to be bojinga sana they see us as their slaves they wake up they do whatever they want with us whether they lock down or they open up wenyewe wanajisikia tu they don't care about you anakwambia ame lock down country na mtu wako jafika home ako bado shule yako Nairobi ama ako thika ama ako wherever so i say tujanjaruke wase don't forget the reason why you're suffering is because our leaders have failed us not you wewe ulifuata sheria uliva mask ukosha mikono uka social distance hawakufanya hizo vitu zote we follow the law they broke the law they broke the law we suffer and wali wali float covid regulations na covid rules they were never arrested they were never beaten they were never shot they never suffered we who followed every single protocol were suffering because of them never forget that never forget that because next year we have an election and you have a chance to revenge kura yako ni nguvu yako our revenge will be served cold and in the morning and every single one of them must go home stay safe sanitize wear mask